what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh well it's it's past that time i'm not even gonna say it is that time it's past that time guys um i've been sitting on this box for a few weeks now um i just haven't had the time to get out um i gotta do some stuff to my boat i need some new tires on the on the trailer uh that tournament i fished a couple of months back as soon as i got back you know home um i had a blowout and so i had to limp the boat back to my house and then i had to uh i kind of tore up my yard right there getting it into the yard and stuff so i need to get some new tires to put on the trailer so i can take the boat out and have a very good uh peace of mind that i'll be able to get to the lake and get back home without any problem so it's kind of why i haven't been out fishing and made any videos Plus, uh, school is officially out for me, and so that means that I'm back out on the streets patrolling. So I've been out patrolling now for the last for a couple of days now. So that's kind of eating up my time as well as uh, getting out there on the water. But nonetheless, let's jump into this, guys. This is the April Monster Bass box. Uh, you guys know what the deal is with Monster Bass. I'll try to leave that link down below. I've been having trouble with that thing since they kind of switched over to a new little uh, platform on how they do that. But I will try to get that link in there for you guys. So that way y'all can sign up and get your monthly subscription of Monster Bass. I still believe that they have this special going on where if you pay for three months, you get a fourth month for free. Y'all know what the deal is with Monster Bass monthly subscription where... They send you all kind of cool baits. Uh, some of them will come from companies that you haven't heard. They're small companies trying to get their start in the fishing industry. But uh, they're, they're, I guess the best way to say it, they are thoroughly screened and tested by, by Rick and some of the other guys at Monster Bass before he commits to putting their products in this box. He wants to make sure that you're getting nothing but the best when you order from Monster Bass. So if it's in this box, that means it's it's up there on the list as being a really, really good bait to take out and use. Also, we got all the helpful tips on how to rig the baits, how to use the baits, and things like that. So, let's jump on into it. So, like I said, here's your booklet that has all your stuff in it. Uh, your moon phases, uh, your, your professional advice, and your uh, suggestions on how to use the baits, where to use them. And what kind of gear to use to set them up. So we're going to jump right in. Oh goodness, I'm dropping stuff. Uh, let me see here real quick. Alright, so we have the VM Drop Shad right here. A uh, little clear bait. Uh, this color is what they call White Ice. It's an 8-pack and it looks like it's just a, a white color, a pearl cover with some silver flake in it. But a uh, good little drop shot bait uh, mimics small um, bait fish. Now, I know most people think drop shotting is probably something that's best in the winter, which is true. That's probably when it is one of your best baits. But this is also a very good bait when you're out deep and those fish are suspended. And the pressure, because with the, the water temperature getting up in the, the high 80s and 90s depending on where you're at that water temperature is going to get really really hot and the fish are going to get lazy in that hot weather um the best way i can describe it is think of fish as a lot of humans you have some people when when the weather outside is hot they get very inactive they they want to hunker down and shade meaning they want to stay at home stay where it's nice and cool they don't want to get outside and do a whole lot because that's going to waste, you know, take up a lot of energy. So when those fish are being suspended and they're being lethargic and not very active, this is a good bait to drop down in front of them and dangle it in front of them. It just irritates them to, to no end and it's they want to get it out of their face. So they bite down on it and before they know it, you're setting the hook on them. So really good lure right here. I'm going to jump in here and see if maybe they have a any information on this lure uh, I'll come back to that one okay so they don't have this 
bait, but they do talk about uh, drop shot. So, best places for drop shot is grass, humps, ledges, brush piles, open water, riprap, points, docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, this is a bottom fishing uh, setup. Uh, if you don't know what drop shot is, you have your, uh, I don't have any fishing line up here on my table, but you have your, your line coming off of your, uh, off of your reel, and then you will tie your hook onto that, but you want to leave yourself some, some leader line, uh, that would depend on your depth that you're fishing, maybe foot to a foot and a half of a liter, and that's where you're going to attach your, your drop shot weight. Uh, I believe they do send. Yes. So I have the Monster Bass Tungsten Drop Shot Weight, and these are the cylinder style. But you would attach this to the end of that, uh, that liter. And you want to keep the weight on the bottom, but what that setup is going to do is keep your lure suspended above that weight. So you're not on the bottom with the lure, your weight's on the bottom, but your lure is suspended up above it. And it's going to give you that good imitation of a bait fish that's just kind of hovering over the bottom where those fish are down deep because the water is a little bit cooler down there. That's where you're going to get those bites from. Uh, normally this is set up. Uh, they're suggesting their seven foot monster bass lunker stick. Excuse me. Six to ten pound fluorocarbon with a 3,000 size spinning reel. So, this is usually a spinning setup that most people fish this on. Now, I have heard of a power shot where you're going to go a little bit heavy on the weight. These weights right here is a 3 16 ounce. If you're going to power shot, that's where you're up to that quarter ounce and going up higher and you can actually use that setup on a uh, bait casting setup. So there's the first one for you. I'm just going to jump in here and grab this one because I just saw this page in this book here. So, And what we got here is the Z-Man Leap Frogs. Uh, it's a hollow body frog. Let's see here. This color is called Black Knight. So you got black with some yellow spots on the front. And it looks like it is a popping frog. So throwing this, it's a surface lure. Throw it around grass, tules or reeds, brush pile, open water, riprap mats, docks, rocks, and trees. Suggested gear for this 7 foot, uh, seven foot 4 inch monster bass lunker stick. 65 pound braid 7.2 to 1 bait casting reel uh, this one right here since this is a popping frog you want to get a good pop on it it has that uh, concave mouth so so you can see that mouth right there how that is set up uh, that is going to catch water and spit it out, so it's going to either spit, spurter, gurgle, whatever you want to call it. But it's going to cause a lot of commotion in the water and even give off that popping sound or gurgling sound in the water, which is what's going to attract those fish. And then as they see this thing scooting across the surface, popping, spitting that water, the fish can't help it, but they have to come up and investigate. And when they do that and they see it, they just immediately attack it. Now, uh, this doesn't always mimic a frog because you have to remember the frog is sitting on the surface the fish are beneath it so as they're looking up this is probably going to imitate some kind of a brim or something that's on the surface struggling and it's trying to move and get little bubbles spurting out of his mouth so just because you're fishing a frog doesn't mean you are trying to imitate a frog all the time this could mimic some kind of a bait fish like I said a brim or a bluegill that's on the surface struggling and it's spitting water out as it's trying to, to swim. Now, please remember that these lures, this box is a uh, $35 box that uh, you get monthly, but the lures, you're getting about a 
value in lures. So you're talking lures and sometimes your terminal tackle. You're getting at least $50 worth of lures in here. And that price is based off of comparing prices on um, Tackle Warehouse. So you're getting a really, really good deal, saving a lot of money, and you're being introduced to a lot of baits that most people would go in a bait shop and walk right by them because they want to stick in, they want to stay in their comfort zone. They don't want to venture out of that comfort zone and try different lures. I'm guilty of it myself. That's why Monster Bass has helped introduce me to some lures. Uh, like right now, I'm looking at my wall that's behind the camera, and I'm looking at one of my uh, beetles that I got from Lunker Hunt. Who would have ever thought that fishing some kind of a bug would catch fish? But they really do. So, Monster Bass is a really good way to get introduced to a lot of lures that you normally wouldn't go by. So, again, jump down there, hit that link, and go on over to Monster Bass and get you some cool lures. This one right here needs no introduction. This is the Monster Bass Ragnar. Uh, this one is the Bone Color Topwater Lure. Uh, it's got their uh, feather treble hook on the back and their signature red uh, katana uh, treble hook. Again, top water bait, and this is a walking bait. So, as you work that rod tip down, you're going to get that good walking the dog action. Sound like it's got some good rattles in it. Uh, make sure that was a rattle or not. Not to hook himself. So it's got that one knocker in there. So that's going to give it a totally different sound versus if you had a bunch of rattles in there. That one knocker is a much, much more um, lower tone. It's a low pitch rattle and thumping versus that high pitch rattle. So again, you're changing up the sound that those fish are hearing when they're used to hearing that high rattle from. A lot of the smaller BBs, that one knocker usually is something different for them to hear. And again, they have to go and investigate it. And when they see this thing walking around on the top, they have to hit it because it's irritating them. Okay, next up, we have the Strike King KVD Perfect Plastic. These are their finesse worms. Uh, this color is their dirt color, so you've got a bit of a watermelon green color on the top with a I would have to say it's a brownish color so probably like a green pumpkin uh, this one I would Texas rig this Carolina rig it uh, you really can't go wrong with this you can uh, weightless Texas rig you cannot go wrong with this lure right here fishing any type of worm style you might even be able to get away with uh, uh, Nico rigging or wacky rigging this. Never go wrong with KVD with Strike King lures. I love them. I usually buy a lot of the Strike King baits. That's one of my favorite baits to get. So you can never go wrong with those. You could probably even throw this on that drop shot that we were just talking about. And then we have... Oh, look at this. I miss these. You have some spear point finesse hooks. So this would be great for that uh, that drop shot that I was just talking about. These are one aught hooks. So yeah, these will be perfect for that drop shot and spear point. You know what they do different. If you can see on that diagram there, how it has that that little gap right there. That is engineered that way. So that way when you set the hook on those fish, it keeps them pinned. It doesn't give them any extra slack or extra room within the bend of that hook to, to shake it free. It keeps it pinned in the corner. So that is really good engineering by those guys. And then last but not least, you have the Ducket Fishing Pro Driven uh, Rattle Trap from Bill Lewis. So Bill Lewis, if you guys don't know, he is the originator of the rattle trap better known now as a lipless crankbait because you couldn't use the name rattle trap for any other lure because it was already taken by Bill Lewis so all the other companies have their lipless crankbaits but it looks like what Duckett done was partnered up with Bill Lewis to come out with this design and color of this rattle trap it's called the uh, 
chrome and gray shad. So it's got the scales for the shad pattern and it's just a chrome gray. It's a really nice looking color. Uh, this thing would probably work anywhere uh, you throw it. Uh, right now with water temperatures being a little bit warmer, I would probably say a good throw out with a steady retrieve would work. Uh, coming through grass, rip it up out of that grass. And if that still doesn't work, slow down your presentation and try the yo-yo method where you throw it out. Uh, you, you wouldn't want to do this in the grass, but if you're fishing along rip wraps and stuff, throw this out there, let it hit that bottom, and then reel up your slack, and then lift up on your rod. And what that will do is when it's coming up, it's going to have that wobble and that shimmy as it's coming up, plus those rattles. And then as it's falling back down, it's still going to have a shimmy. So you're basically yo-yoing it. You reel up your slack, you pop it up, and as it's falling back down and you're lowering your rod down is when you want to take up that slack and just keep doing it that way, yo-yoing it. That's usually on that fall or even when you come up with it, as it's coming up shimmying, that's when those fish will hit it. So be ready when that happens because the fight will be on. And something new that Monster Bass is doing is now... Uh, trading cards with the professionals on it. Uh, this one is Brandon Coulter. He is from Knoxville, Tennessee. A few little stats about him. Career wins. He's had four career wins. Uh, nine top ten finishes. Fourteen top twenty finishes. He's been to the Red Crest once. He uh, in the 2022 Angler of the Year he finished 44th. Uh, Let's see here. He is one of a small group of anglers who have competed in Major League Fishing, the Bass Pro Tour, the FLW Tour, and Bassmaster Elite Series. Coulter has com uh, collected nine top tens and more than ten top twenties in his professional career. And that's Brandon Coulter. Uh, we have a card from Black Rifle Coffee. Uh, use the code BLASTOFF25 for 25% off of my code, first purchase or first month in their club, which I've been a member of their uh, Black Rifle Coffee Members Club uh, for a while. So that's pretty cool. Black Rifle Coffee is also a big, big sponsor of the fishing. Uh, a lot of times when you watch the guys' videos, they will have a, a tent or one of their trucks set up with free coffee for the guys to come out and grab. Of course, as always your ticket so whenever you check in on Monster Bass Live on Thursdays if they call out your number you can win prizes and the Monster Bass sticker square bill crankbait so always always good things from Monster Bass I hope you guys enjoyed this video I, I am so ready to get out there and do some fishing of my own um, I do have a vacation coming up by the time I do my next video, I will be back from that vacation, but I will probably take the contents of this box with me because the place that we're going, where we're staying, is right on a lake, so I will probably take this stuff with me and fish while I'm out there. I will try to record some stuff on my phone if I can. If not, I'll have to let you guys know about it in the next video whenever we get back from that vacation. So, again, thank you guys for tuning in and coming along with me as I talk about uh, the April uh, Monster Bass box. You can always go to MonsterBass.com and look up this box and buy it if you want it. Uh, if not, they have other great things as well as their store where you can buy a lot of the baits that have already been featured in Monster Bass as well as Monster Bass's own terminal tackle, fishing rods. I think they have fishing reels. So a lot of great things coming from Monster Bass. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more things coming on down the road. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Till the next video, you guys be safe out there on the water. Be smart, and I'll see you guys in the great outdoors.